Hey everybody, we're taking a look uh, at my EDH deck. It's MAGA Trader to Mortals. And this guy is uh, pretty murderous, actually. He um, basically can take the game into his own hands and just murder somebody straight out. This deck generates tons of mana. And he pretty much fireballs you in black. Otherwise, um, and you die. I can't hit a, a creature, but who cares? He just takes out players. All right. Let's start with the mana base. There are uh, 41 lands here. Um, I run a lot of lands. One of them is the Maze of Ith, so that doesn't really count because it doesn't produce mana. Um, I think there's 24 snow covered. 23 or 24. Big chunk. And I run snow covered for scrying sheets um, and for the lens. All right, Maze of Ith, great defense card. Thawing Glaciers, find more basics. Uh, Basuju uh, lets your big X spells resolve so they don't get countered. Cabal Coffers, uh, self explanatory. This is uh, one of the all stars of the deck. Gets you tons of mana. Vesuva, copies co coffers, um, copies coffers, copies uh, the Maze of Ith, or copies Volrath Stronghold. Now, Volrath Stronghold should be in every black deck uh, with creatures. Uh, it's really good. And one of the tricks um, I use it for is to, if Maga dies instead of, if he's died a few times, instead of paying the extra two for how many times he's died, the two colors plus the casting cost, just let him go to the graveyard, and then uh, put him on top of your library, draw him, and then cast him. Morning well, sack something, gain life. Uh, Shizu Death Storehouse. Now this uh, puts people in a bind, this card here. I run some legendary creatures. And with Maga, you're pretty much saying, okay, I'm going to bring Maga, Maga out. I'm going to Maga ball somebody for big. And then he's still on the board. And then also, he's going to gain fear and he's going to start swinging. So either way, you're pretty much damned if you do and you're damned if you don't with Maga. You want to kill him or do you want to take a bunch of damage again? It really puts people in a bind. Um, Urbog, Term of Yogmoth, uh, makes everything a swamp. For good for corrupt, things like that. Scrying Sheets. Um, lets you find uh, snow permanents, put them into your hand. And it's good for end of turn. Um, I know these should probably be fetches. These are jank fetches. They're in my other deck, though. Another fetch. Bujuka Bog is awesome. Exile, exile all cards in target player's graveyard. More bad fetch. Okay, here's some creatures here. My Ocean of Night's Reach. Um, this is pretty much game over if you cast it from your hand, which this deck has tons of mana. Um, just wipe someone's hand. Some Eldrazi. Big stuff. Steel Hellkite is very good um, with decks that generate a lot of mana. Destroys a bunch of stuff. Blood Chief. Um, sometimes I uh, use her as an alternate general. Um, occasionally. But she's good all her own and can kill creatures pretty easily. And the good thing is she gains... Um, when she gets pumped up, the creature gets negative X. So gets around indestructible if you can pump it enough. So I'm Simulacrum, another EDH star. Gets lands, draws a card. The Butcher um, is great. He's also a vampire. Um, so is, uh, so is Dralna, and, um, you'll see why that's important in a minute. Anytime another creature is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent sacks a creature. Kage Maru, first to suffer. Um, this is, um, another good one. It's kind of like a mutilate in a way. Usually you'll have a lot of cards in your hand. Um, sack them. All creatures get negative X until end of turn. X is number of cards in your hand. Also good to um, to recur this with the stronghold. Dread is another all star. A big fear creature. Um, and uh, yeah, whenever a creature deals damage to you, destroy it. 
Magus of the Coffers generates big mana. Usually gets killed fairly quickly, though. Dark Imposter, I don't see a lot of people playing this, but it's an amazing card. Uh, six, it basically says six, exile your Dark Steel, exile your Eldrazi. I don't care if you have this or that, it just gets exiled. And also, this creature uh, gains all activated abilities with when he exiles a creature. Dark Steel could be Sundering Titan, I suppose. Helldozer, destroy basic lands untapped, or destroys non-basic land. Actually, it destroys any land, but if that land is non-basic, um, it untaps. The Revenant, another vampire. Um, whenever you tap a swamp for mana, add black to your mana pool. And it also gets bigger, it has the shade ability. Stronghold Overseer, I find myself winning tons of games with this. Flying Shadow, you can pump it up. And uh, it gets bigger. For every two black, it gets uh, bigger by one. It's a kind of a good finisher. Reaver Demon, um, you're going to play it from your hand. Destroy all non-artifact, non-black creatures. They can't be regenerated. So basically, it's going to hit everything but your creatures. Okay, here's some artifacts. Soul Ring, every EDH staple. Gilded Lotus, same thing. Three mana of any color. Charcoal Diamond. Skull Clamp, great card draw. Mirari, um, you can uh, copy X spells, you can copy tutors, you can uh, just copy a lot of things and it gets really degenerate fast. The top, another staple. Warhammer, uh, gain some life, good to put on that shadow creature. Anything with flying. Mind's Eye usually gets uh, vaporized. Um, Whenever an opponent draws one, you can pay one and draw a card. Usually doesn't last on the table too long. Might swap this out. Expedition map. Great to grab coffers um, or any of those other great lands that we saw. Cloak. Unblockable. Can't be the target of spells or abilities. Um, sometimes I'll throw this on MAGA. Rings of Bright Hearth. Um, this is pretty sick. It... Um, there's a lot of things in the deck that is synergistic um, with this. Uh, even the fetch lands are, you can keep paying two, just keep searching. And, um, you know, even the Helldozer ability, there's just tons of stuff in this deck that you can really abuse. Scroll Rack. Um, I find this card is great, especially early on. You got a handful of jank, just pay one, tap it, um, draw six or seven more cards. And then also sets up your deck for scrying sheets, um, just anything like that. Set up your future draws. And if you don't like anything, um, there's enough sack lands in here that you can just, uh, you know, shuffle the deck and uh, get a new set of cards. Junior's Kite. Um, this may go pretty soon. It's okay. It searches out basics. Lens. Um, I always remove the snow covered so the opponents can't get the bonus. Trailblazer's Boots, 99.99% of EDH decks will have one non-basic or more. So, um, he's unblockable, basically. Equipped creature as non-basic land walk, throw that on a MAGA. Planar Portal, this is another card that doesn't last very long. Uh, six to cast, six and search your library for a card, you can tutor every turn. The disc blows up everything. Doesn't hit Planeswalkers, though, although if this card was printed now, it would probably include Planeswalkers. Gauntlet of Power doubles my mana. The Arena, draw a card, lose life. The Abyss. All players bury one target, non-artifact, non-creature during their control if they have any during their upkeep. Basically, it was errated. It does target, so um, it's... Not as good as maybe it's worded on the card, but still is very good card. Greed, I'm not running Necro, Necropotence because of the Mind Slaver thing, but um, Pay to Life draw card, it's pretty good still. Uh, Sanguine Bond, whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life, which is pretty good for some big X spells. Black Market. Amazing card, um, especially with the Wraths that are in this deck. 
Whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play, put a charge counter on black market. So if you're playing a huge multiplayer game, the creatures are going to be dying left and right, and you're going to be adding 5, 6, 10 mana each turn just from black market. Um, so it's a great card, and um, especially since they changed the mana burn rules um, a while ago, it got tons better. You know, it was 20 cent rare before, now it's like 5, 6, 7 bucks. Tutor package, Cruel Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, I gotta put Beseech the Queen in here, Diabolic Tutor, Demonic Tutor, we've seen a trend here, Shred Memories, another Tutor, uh, I usually transmute it for Demon or, uh, Demonic Tutor, All, although it is good on its own to remove four target cards in a single graveyard from the game, if somebody's recurring something, uh, graveyard shenanigans, just you can end that real fast at instant speed. Mutilate, all creatures gain negative one, negative one for each swamp you control. Good board wipe. Decree of Pain, another great board wipe draws your cards. Barter and Blood, each player sacks two creatures, gets you around um, just indestructible, just nasty stuff. Ambitions Cost, draw three cards, lose three life. Ancient Craving, pretty much the same thing, different name. You can do this in EDH, yay. Damnation, kill all creatures. Sign in blood, draw two cards, lose two life. Profane Command is another great card. Choose two, target player loses X life, return target card, converted mana cost X or less from graveyard to play, or target creature gets negative X, negative X until end of turn, or up to X target creatures gain fear until end of turn. Wall of text, and you can really, you really can't go wrong. You choose two of them and you're in a great position. Mind Twist, try to grab someone's whole hand from them. Corrupt, either uh, try and use this on a player or creature just to stay alive, or you can just pretty much burn someone way down with it. Plague Wind, destroy all creatures you don't control. They can't be regenerated. Awesome one-sided wrath. Temporal Extortion, I like taking extra turns. Although, a target player can lose half their life. Bring it. Exsanguinate. Another high-powered uh, finisher. This is one of the best X spells ever printed because it says each opponent loses X life. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. Which is great with Sanguine Bond. That's why I kept it here. Yagmoth's Will. Play stuff from your graveyard and Blood Tribute. If you have one of those vampires, this is a great combo. It's expensive though, it's expensive because it's an instant kill. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Kicker tapped an untapped vampire you control. Target opponent loses half, half of his or her life rounded up. If it was kicked, gain life equal to life lost this way. There's a win right there. Have fun.